Sergeant's report brought to you by GEICO. Aaron, exactly what happened on that ejection? Um, <clears throat> Greg Gibson just came down from first base and um, and then ran out of, just said, apparently said we didn't have any time left when I went to challenge. And so they didn't let us challenge anything. Was there any consideration being that it was the eighth inning and a, a huge play of just challenging right away? I know that's oh, yeah. not typically oh, the yeah. way you do it, but. Yeah, yeah, and that's what we ultimately I would have done, but I want to give Webby a chance to review because we know we got two plays to review there, give him that opportunity. And I never, because I'm watching Mendy, so eventually if there's any indecision there, I'm going to go to that. And Gibson was just, you know, it, it seemed quick, and I didn't hear him say now. Did did he say something to you upon further review? What do you mean? Did did he motion to you for a decision or? Uh, and he must have, but I must have been looking at Mendy on the phone when when he made that call because it seemed so early to me. That was it was very quick, and uh, you know. So usually I have a good rhythm where I look with Mendy and I'm holding them off. Apparently he said something, and then when I went to turn and challenge. It was too late. You were clearly hot for, for good reasons there. Just how frustrating is it in that situation, considering you have replay, you have the ability to go back and look and see if a run scores, and it looked as though that run would have scored there? I, I don't think it would have, based on what we were just looking at now and there. But, um, yeah, very frustrating. I mean, obviously, that's a, you know, I'm going to challenge that at that point in the game all day long, but I at least want to give them a chance to to see both in case it's a total moot point. And then overall, just what did you think of Davey? Davey, I thought was pretty good. You know, obviously gave up the homer in the first and, um, you know, had a little bit of traffic there and I thought did a really good job in that fourth inning when he, when he got into trouble and, and, and made some pitches when he had to. Um, so, you know, he, he did his job and gave us a chance and, and set us up and we just, you know, couldn't mount enough. Aaron, what does a judge, if anything, have to do differently on that play? Well, you know, obviously you you don't want to make the last out at third base, but, you know, as a general rule, but also a first and third scenario with the tying run at third and, and go ahead run at first is a little more advantageous than just your normal um, you know, first and second situation. So you don't want to just be, you know, totally non-aggressive. The, the one thing with Hayes is, you know, we know he's a, he's a good thrower in the outfield, moves side to side well, so, and, and he made a great play to get him. Aaron, just to, again, it looked like Gibson was pointing in the dugout saying, stay in, don't come out. Is that accurate? He was basically saying, don't even come out and try to discuss challenging this because yeah, you can't it, and you're it, out of here. It was, it was too quick. And it was, you know, I just felt like it was kind of bullying, frankly. Thank you. Hey, Aaron, what did you see in that balk? Say it again. Uh, in the balk. Yeah, he balked. You know, just did you, clearly. Yeah, yeah, he balked. I, you know, I think when he started up into his into reset, he he did balk. And then Aaron, obviously. People are going to say, okay, there was a balk and there was this play at third base, but, you know, you guys left a lot of men on base and it didn't happen. So is that the culprit of why you lost this game? Well, you know, we, again, we had, we had some chances, obviously. Um, you know, I thought throughout the game and up and down the lineup, we had, you know, we got ourselves into actually some pretty good counts offensively, you know, especially against Harvey. There were some chances where, you know, we're 2-0, 3-1, had some leverage and some counts and just couldn't, really mount that much against them. I thought we took some good swings against them, um, but but just couldn't amount mount enough when we when we had some count leverage. Okay, the next question from Brian Hope. Hey Aaron, uh, what'd you think of Davey Garcia tonight and uh, was taking him out after 65, just not wanting him to go a, a third time through the order? A little bit, I, you know, we're, I knew we were lined up. We could go inning by inning, you know, to, to get towards the end there, you know, I was probably prepared to kind of 75, 80 pitches, 
kind of thinking in that line. But once he got through that lineup the second time, made a big pitch to get out of it in the fourth, coming back around with Mullins and, and Mancini, um, I just felt like we were lined up there well with, uh, you know, with Litke on down. Um, and if, you know, we obviously mounted a comeback to get into that game, you know, we're set up pretty good there.